How's it going everybody? Daleva, back at it again with another walkthrough of Horizon Zero Dawn, and this should be part 15. Actually, 16, if I'm not in no, 15. <laughs> um, but whatever it is, it doesn't matter. We're getting close, guys. We're getting close to the end of the game, and I'm so, so excited. Uh, let me go to the menu, I'm gonna show you real quick. So we're gonna do this main mission. Deep Secrets of the Earth, and um, it looks like we're getting really close. It says here, Aloy explores ancient ruins beneath the citadel and unravels the unbelievable truth of Project Zero Dawn. So we're finally going to find out what Zero Dawn means, um, or what it stands for, right? Uh, we know it's a project that Elizabeth Sobik, um, Aloy's supposed mother, um, was working on. So let's see what's up. Let's see what happens. And there's a lot of XP in this one. It's 10,500. So I'm excited about that too. Y'all already know. Um, but I'm excited to complete this quest. <clears throat> Excuse me. Sorry about that, guys. And I got my coffee here. Oh, yeah, baby. I'm ready. This is going to be good. So it's going to be a long run, guys. But I'm, I'm, I'm ready to I'm ready to get this done. So we're still here in the jungle right now. But... Um, I'm gonna keep. I'm pretty much gonna walk all the way where we're supposed to go, or I'm gonna search the map. But I'll see you guys in a little bit. Once we get close to it, then I'll be right back. See you guys in. See you guys soon. <laughs> Alrighty, guys. So I think we we're getting pretty close here to our destination. Let's see what's up. There's a lot of new machines out here too. It looks like we're in the middle of the desert. Oh, here we go. Uh huh. Uh huh. The bulwark of Kaja might against the howling forbidden west. Yeah. For the history lesson. Thank you very but much. They have no idea what Silence. We will learn much from this Aloy. Campfire. That's what I'm hoping. Are we gonna learn how to how to make a campfire? Oh baby, damn. Damn, I'm telling you, what's up with this architecture in this game, man? The architecture in this place. Uh, go to the Citadel courtyard. All right, let's see what's going on. Cool. So there's uh, there's a guy that sells stuff here. We're definitely gonna go back to that guy. I I know we didn't go to the merchant in the other section that we were playing on on the last episode, but oh, something's going down. What's up? Oh baby. Stay off my focus. Oh yeah. Catch me. You'll be lucky if you survive long enough to wind up in that ring. Oh crap. Alright, so that looks like a lot of fun down oh that no, forget it. That doesn't look like fun at all. <laughs> and I'm pretty sure we're gonna end up there pretty soon. Yeah, let's see what's up. Welcome to the citadel, Aloy. I'll check back with you in a moment. Yeah, thank you very much, Silence. Outlanders, if you want to hear about today's bounties, head for the throne room. You're not going to make any shards by standing out here. Aw, oh, man. I, I have, I have a feeling we're going to fight. Even if it means having a listen of a hop. In the Coliseum. It looks like a Coliseum type of place. It kind of reminds me of Assassin's Creed whenever you fight in that place. Oh, here we go. What's going on? By the glory of the sun revealed. Behold, radiant Edaman, the one true sun king, the light in shadow, whose will is light and whose light is law. I command Lucian Bahavas to speak in my behalf. By the will of Radiant Edaman does the sun glare down mercilessly upon the traitor Uthid. To the hunter who brings his head to us shall go a bounty of 500 shards. More prisoners than royalty, don't you think? Hmm. Love your hair. Not only did the wretch conspire to you and I need to chat, Citadel, little huntress. The green tent down in Shadowside. I'll be waiting. Kind of busy. And fled, and in doing so, demonstrated wanton disrespect. Man, everybody's hitting on Aloy, man. What's up with that? 
Uthid is innocent. So come see me while there's still time to save him. So, the way in I spoke of is right behind you. You've got to be kidding. Not at all. And you needn't worry about the Kestrels. They'll be too busy acting important to pay attention to you. First time in the Citadel, gotta see the sun ring from on high. Alrighty, so... We're not gonna worry about that side quest right now. We might do that one a little bit later. It makes quite All right, what's going on? The balustrade. Where do we... It's a short drop. Oh crap! Climb down. Okay, so um, how do we climb down? I saw the little opening. I think it's out here somewhere. Yeah, here we go. Bam. All right. Oh, nice. Bam. That's what I'm talking about. All right, over here. Um, I guess down. Bam, 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 bam. Other side of the tower. Look for a vent. Can you just climb down? What are you doing? I keep pressing the wrong button. I see you've go. been here before. Obviously. Now, it's very important that you hear what I'm about to say. <clears throat> What's going on? I've shown you the way in. Uh -huh. But this humble vent marks a point of no return. Oh boy. Before you descend into the depths here, you should be fully committed, equipped, and focused. I am, no baby. No distractions. Nothing at all. If you have errands to run, do them first or hold your peace. Oh, trust me. That's I why I got my coffee. Waiting. Is that clear? Hey, you're not my boss. I'll tolerate what I give you, Silence. Exactly. I didn't ask you along for the ride. I never did. <sighs> Excuse me. I was drinking my coffee real quick. All right, let's do this. All right, what's up? I'm heading down. I've spent a lifetime trying to uncover the secrets of this world. Where the machines came from. How the old ones achieved such marvels only to fall into silence and death. A lifetime of failure. As year by year, decade after decade, I hit walls I could not break, doors I could never breach. Hello. Until a Nora Huntress marched out of the savage east. And voila, for her. All the deepest secrets of the earth were laid bare. I suspect you will have an easier time with this door than I did years ago. Oh, for identity scan. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Malfunction. 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 Are you, kidding me? you don't hear me laughing. Shut up. There's gotta be another way. <laughs> hey! Elizabeth Sobek here! Requesting access! Access request acknowledged. Root command functions available. Do you wish to proceed? I do! Get me through this door! Analyzing. Primary access inoperable due to mechanical failure. Emergency venting procedure likely to circumvent blockage. Do you wish to proceed? Yes. Emergency venting authorized. Oh crap, we did something wrong. I knew we did something wrong. Guess you can't have everything. That will draw attention. We won't have this place to ourselves for long now. We? Last I checked, I was the one whisking my life down here. Yes, fine. Now will you please get moving? There's so much to learn in less time than I'd hoped. Man, this scientist guy asked for a lot, man, and he's not doing squat diddly do. What's wrong with him? Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. Zero Dawn. Yeah. All right, baby. It. Nice. Are you really so surprised? Facility diagnostics detect multiple failures. Attempting repair. So, what was this room? An entrance hall, perhaps. Have a look around. Yeah, let's see what's up. And wait for your name to be called. Take a, a seat. Beverages and snacks are available. 
Snacks? I don't see no snacks, and by the way, the seats look really uncomfortable here, so... I'm just gonna keep moving forward. Ah, alrighty. Damn. A theater? What movie are we watching? Initiating playback. I hope it's a new Star Wars, at least. Oh, here we go. Welcome to Project Zero Dawn. I am General Harris, Chairman of the Joint Chiefs of Staff of the United States of America. I'm sure you've heard the rumors that Zero Dawn is a top-secret super weapons program, the technological miracle that will save us from the Pharaoh Plague if Operation Enduring Victory can hold off the robots long enough. The reason I'm sure you've heard the rumors is that I'm the one who spread them. And they are all lies. Zero Dawn is not a super weapons program. And it will not save us. Nothing will save us. And here's why. By the time the glitch was noticed, it was already too late. Nothing could stop the Pharaoh Plague. Nothing can. Its robots will continue to replicate and devour the biosphere. Life on Earth will be destroyed. Our planet reduced to a barren sphere. Global extinction is inevitable. No matter how many we kill, the robots just keep exponentially making more. If we had their deactivation codes, we could shut them all down. The entire swarm. But since their cryptographic protocols use polyphasic entangled waveforms, cracking a code set would take half a century. At best, we've got 16 months. Not exactly what you'd call a survival option. The destruction of a biosphere is not the sort of apocalypse you can wait out in a fallout shelter or a space station. There will be no Earth left to reclaim. Just a lifeless, toxic rock with several million pharaoh robots on it, hibernating waiting for something to eat. This is the horrible truth behind the lies of Operation Enduring Victory. My lies. Lies designed to inspire millions of innocents to sacrifice themselves in battle. Why? One reason. To buy time for you and the work you will do here. Zero day. The day that life on Earth ceases to exist is coming fast. It cannot be stopped. The hope of Zero Dawn is that something new might come after. But I will leave it to Elizabeth Sobek to shine that thin ray of light into the darkness. Harris, out. Boom, that's crazy. Life on Earth didn't cease to exist. Okay. Said it could not be stopped. But it no, was. No. Somehow, somehow Elizabeth saved us. Yeah, she I did. Find out how she did it. Yeah, so we're definitely understanding more of the story as well. Uh, that's pretty crazy. So zero day happened, and now we're here, and Kestrels. zero dawn, got baby. In through the vents. Let nothing stop oh, crap. What the hell? The truth. Can I shoot this guy? Well, they can't see me. Kill it. What is this place? Mm, all right. Let's see. Where are they moving towards? I, I'm going to be able to get this guy right here. Oh, shoot. What the hell did I do that for? Hey there, buddy. Hey. Hey. All right. Let me see if I can get his attention real quick. Bam. What the? Anybody else? No, nobody else. Okay, come up. Come over here. Come the big daddy. Bam! Ah. That's what I'm talking about. Oh. I got the- Oh, crap! Okay, somebody else noticed me on the other side. Not good. <laughs> I'm just playing around with them. Ah, let's just fight him. What the hell am I doing? What's up, buddy? Yeah. Oh, crap. What the hell? Damn. That's a cool weapon you got there, man. Oh, crap. 
Damn, okay, I gotta regain health. What the hell is that? Come on, let's do it. Who else wants this? Nobody else does. Alright, I'm gonna keep this weapon. Can I keep this weapon? Yes. Let's use this thing. <laughs> oh, crap. Um, oh, okay, here we go. Elizabeth Sobeck. You've heard the bad news, and it's all true. The Pharaoh Plague is devouring the biosphere. Life itself will cease to exist. But does that have to be the end? What if we could give life a future? What if we could build a kind of seed from which, on a dead planet, life could blossom anew? This is the aim, the hope, of Project Zero Dawn. To create a super intelligent, fully automated terraforming system and bring life back from lifelessness. What would such a system require? At its core, it would need a true AI, fully capable of making the trillions of decisions necessary to reconstitute the biosphere. An immortal guardian, devoted to the reflourishing of life. We call it Gaia. Mother Nature as an AI. But that's just the core of the system. She will need to be surrounded and empowered by a comprehensive suite of subordinate functions. Think of them as extensions of Gaia's mind, each dedicated to a specific purpose. Now these aren't AIs, but make no mistake, each presents an engineering challenge more profound than anything the human species has ever before attempted. Hardware that preserves and then gestates the billions of seeds and embryos from which life will be reborn. The construction of underground facilities to hold it all. And that's just the start. We don't have to build the entire system. The beauty of a fully automated terraforming system is that it can build itself. Now over the days to come, you'll learn how all these functions, all these pieces that you'll be working on, fit together. How we'll race the clock to execute our harvest initiatives, write the software, build the tech and the facilities. How we'll lock it down and seal it up before the inevitable occurs. But even more important, you'll know how it doesn't end here. How Gaia will generate those deactivation codes General Harris talked about, and build the transmission arrays to broadcast them, shutting down the feral robots for good. How Gaia will not just build, but imagine any conceivable robot it needs to do its work across centuries. From detoxifying the Earth's ravaged atmosphere and poisoned seas, to the regreening of the Earth from cryopreserved seed stalks, to rewilding the Earth with animal life. And then, when all that is done, how a new generation of human beings, spawned at cradle facilities around the globe, will partake of Apollo. The vast archive of human knowledge and cultural achievement from which they will learn of us, our world, and most important, how not to repeat our mistakes. It's not an impossible dream. It is within our grasp if we work tirelessly and stop at nothing to achieve it. We can't stop life from ending. But if you will help me, help Gaia, we can give it a future. Join me and help make that future real. Holy crap. Damn. The earth destroyed. But then remade? Yes. By a machine. A machine of creation. Life for us. Damn. Why Hades then? If it was part of Gaia, how did it end up in the wreckage of a pharaoh robot? Yeah. How? Why does it want to kill me? And a, a malfunction, probably. The archive of knowledge. What happened to that? I'm as confused as you are. <laughs> Maybe the answers lie ahead. I think I'm getting most of it, but that that's pretty crazy. Damn, man, the way they made this story, it's... 
It's incredible. Intruder! It's, I'm Get really her. interested in seeing what's gonna happen. Get out of my way. Don't fight them? Oh crap. Damn! I've done this before. Holy crap. Oh damn it. What am I doing? Oh Damn, alright. Let's just strike up on for Damn, that's what I'm talking about. Holy crap. These crazy bastards, I'm telling you. What the hell kind of weapon do they have? I don't even know how that weapon works, so I try to use it. <laughs> um Damn. How does it work? Oh crap. What did I do? I just want to see how this weapon works real quick. Okay, forget it. I'm just wasting time. Um, all right, so I gotta restore power. Okay, here we go. Here we go. Another hey, one of these. why are you copying me? We need me to find anymore? the right configuration. Yes, we do. So I'm guessing. Here we go. Uh, that's weird. Oh, there we go. Okay, so up. There's a part missing. Oh, is there? Maybe there's a storage area nearby. What about this right here? Hey, I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow, he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. Everything's backwards, so what? Uh, let's see here. What is that? Left up. All right, guys. Let me see if I can figure this out real quick. Um, it's one of these puzzles again. Ah, I was never good at puzzles. <laughs> okay, so this one won't let us do anything until we do these right here. All right, so there we go. <clears throat> I think it's counter. Yeah, there we go. Counterclockwise. This one, leave it up. What's the other one? Left. Let's see. So left, up, left, down, right. Up, left. This one's gonna be down. All the way down. And then right. There we go. Done. Bam. Should check the door nearby. Okay, cool. Um, we can't do anything about those right now, so let's go over here. Wait. Yeah, there we go. Okay, cool. Bam. Alright. What's up here? Okay, I gotta... Nothing over there, right? No. Let's climb up the stairs. Damn. This place looks like it's really tight. Tight space. How did people walk here? Alright, so... What's good, homie? What's up, baby? Oh, this thing right here? A key component. Oh, okay. So we gotta pick that up. Looks intact. Okay, cool. So I'm guessing we gotta put that back where it belongs. Rock ya. Uh, but what is this? I wanna see this real quick. Oh, yeah. Loot! Oh! Can never go wrong with the health potions. Never. Can I jump down? Thank you. Ouch. There we go. Install that baby. Install that bad boy. Let's get that door. Hey. I'm done with Brett's incompetence, okay? Somehow he managed to install an H emitter node backwards. Everything's in reverse. I don't get paid to clean up Brett's messes. If you want it fixed, send him up to storage for a new emitter, not me. Parker out. So Ah, uh, okay, so let's see if this works, so... Okay, so we're gonna start from the bottom, but from the bottom we're just gonna go reverse. That's what I'm guessing it should be. Okay, so up, down, left, right. So from the bottom we're doing a reverse, because that's what I'm looking at, yeah. Up, 
left. Okay, so this one should be right. That did it. There we go. We should have power. Oh, okay. See what lies beyond it. Jeez. Okay, that, that took me a little bit of time, guys. Y'all probably didn't see that because I skipped it, but... Damn, let's just keep moving forward. Oh, baby. Eclipse. They're here. Avoid contact. Lines look good. Gaia, it's up there. Second floor. Can you reach it? So much for avoiding contact. It's time to fight, baby. Let's do this. Did they see me? No, not yet. Ha 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 ha. Damn it. <laughs> Oh, you missed, baby! Oh, crap! Oh, damn it! There we go. Oh, crap! Why am I getting hit so much? I don't know, but I feel adrenaline rushing in my veins. I think it's the coffee. Let's kill these guys. Come on, guys. What you got? Nothing. Nothing. That that That's what you got. You got nothing. Give me your metal shards. Oh, there's still one of you, two of you guys out there. Alright, let's kill you guys. Just because you deserve to die. Bam. I got that guy? Holy crap. Alright, I'm gonna switch to these arrows because they definitely do more in Feel the power of the Feel the power of my arrow. Oh crap. How did I Damn, what am I doing? My hand is switching a lot. There we go, that's what I'm talking about. Oh crap! Damn it! Hell no, I'm not dying! Damn it, come on! Fear the power of Oh come on! That's what I'm talking about. Kill these guys. Come on, boy! Oh crap, I missed that guy. Oh, got him. Okay. Shoot. Give me that. Oh, my health pouch is full. Or not. Or not? Damn it. Shoot. Got him. He still didn't kill him though. This is one of the stronger guys. Feel the power of my ass. There we go, come on. I should go for that machine gun over there. Alright. I gotta get the guy with the machine gun because he's a pain in the ass. Uh, I should guess I could get that guy first. There we go. Bam! That's what I'm talking about. Oh, I didn't even see that guy. You seem to be hiding in the shadows, buddy. Uh, no! Drop that. Oh, okay, guys. I, I don't have time to loot all these guys. I'm just keep moving forward. Where do we go? Hello. Over here. I'm Margot Shen, and this is Hephaestus. Hey, buddy. As the name might tip you off, this is going to be the subordinate function that Guy will use to make Hephaestus. lots and lots of robots. Greek gods, Her huh? Her personal forge. All right. Except it's not that uh, Do we need um, to listen to that message? You probably know that only about a third of you are robotics engineers. The rest. Well, I'm gonna keep moving forward. I think we're gonna find out more once we get up to the top or wherever we're supposed to go. Alright, let's go. Let's do this. Is there baddies down there? I don't think so. Alright. Oh, these are the guys I killed. Give me your treasure box. Thank you very much. I think this is it. Damn, two treasure boxes. Yes. It's sealed off. Is it now? Careful now. More clips, of course. More bad guys to kill. Let's see. I'm gonna stock up again. Alright, we're ready to go. Got my bow and arrow. Got my traps. Got my health. Now I got my health. <laughs> Alright, what's going on? Okay, we gotta head down here. Welcome to Apollo. 
the collective memory of the human species Apollo. and the wellspring of knowledge for future Holy generations. Crap, I, didn't even notice I am Samina Ebaji. Until recently, Apollo. I was director of the International Collective Memory Institute in New Era. As a heritage oh, professional, I right. devoted my career to the preservation of human knowledge. These are just messages you can hear later, so I'm just gonna go ahead and save them. Ultimate embodiment of a lifelong Damn. Mission. All right. Yes. Oh crap. That's one of. The, this is one of the stronger guys. Got him. Okay. I don't think they saw me. The other bastards. The other bastards. All right. I'm gonna use my sharp shooting arrow. Gotta kill all these bastards, man. ASAP. Alright. Where's the rest of them? There's one right in front of me. Coming down here. Bam! Alright, let's move. Let's move. Metal shards. Yes, why not? Um, Alright, let's go around. Let's see if we can get around these boys. Right up there. I don't see nothing. I'm guessing this the skulls on top of their thing means that they're the deadly ones or Yeah, they're the ones with the freaking machine guns that I hate. Bam! That's what, oh crap. Still alive. Oh crap, how did it? There we go. I'm just gonna pick this up and let's kill some bastards. Come at me, come at me, I dare you. When I'm ready to kill you guys, y'all just don't appear, huh? Let me see if I make some noise. How about now? What's up, buddy? Come up, come up. I dare you. I dare you. Oh, yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Come on. Where's the rest of you? This one of you right there. Oh, damn. How much damage does this th damn thing do? What's up, buddy? Oh, all right. What should have been a cave of wonders? Look around. I don't think I... anything is left. Do I need that? Uh, I can sell that later. Well, I don't. I don't think I need to loot any of these guys right now. But all right, what are we looking for? All right, we're. I don't think there's any more of these guys left. So let's see what's up. Go over here. Damn, man, this Welcome. is this place is huge. <laughs> 80s. Extinction failsafe protocol. The You're the bad guy we're fighting app. right now, man. Now, killer app, huh? Thinking? The purpose of guy is to resurrect life. I'm so guessing Hades. Hades malfunctioned yeah, malfunctioned or something, because that's the thing that pretty much wants to kill us and get, get rid of us. Yeah. Alrighty. Way onwards. Yep, and it looks nasty, or just creepy overall. Welcome to Eleuthia, the Ooh. crown and king of Gaia's subordinate functions. For it is Eleuthia. by Eleuthia that the human race will uh -huh, continue uh -huh. to exist. Very interesting. I am Patrick Brochard Klein, the Alpha in charge of this. What did you say? Alright, let's go. Eleuthia is not. I'm guessing we're about to find out a lot more in a little bit, so... Elizabeth said a, a new generation of humans um, would be spawned inside such places. She did. Oh, Mother Mountain. Yeah. It was one of them? Let's see what's There's going on. one way to be sure. By the finding hatch out. wouldn't open. Something, something about a corrupted alpha registry. I need to search Elizabeth's office. Looks like it used uh, to be a little bit of a little bit of a little bit superior a little bit of 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 a of data on the quaternary extinction event. Oh? All right, and so what are we looking assessment? for? I'm guessing we're looking for... Gaia? Um, Logically speaking, the extinction was a natural consequence. There we go. Open it, baby. 
Alright, so I'm pretty sure we have to go through here. Yes, most definitely. What's this? We'll listen to that later. Um, sure, why not? I we'll can't spare the weight. Yeah, yeah, I got enough health, I know. Um, this? Wait, oh, okay, wait. I'm guessing we have to... Yeah, we have to go around. There we go. The Alpha Registry Master File. Intact? Yeah. No signs of corruption. Then what are you waiting for? Copy the file. With this, I can restore the registry at the hatch inside All Mother. Open it. Go inside. And grasp the secrets within. Where I was born. Maybe. Maybe who gave birth to me. Who? Are you really so naive? There will be no who waiting for you there, Aloy. Whatever birthed you into the world was a what, not a who. You bastard. Oh no, I had a legitimate birth. It's you, Aloy, who are the creation of a machine. But what kind of machine and why? Why were you created? Eclipse. You need to get out of there. What you found is too valuable. You're too valuable. They caught us. Is that the same guy that choked us last time? I think it might be a different guy. All right, let's see what's going on. My entire life, I've always known one thing with prophetic certainty. That I was destined for glory as a great champion of the sun. Even when Jaron was murdered, even when Meridian fell, I never doubted my destiny. Until you came along. When I heard that you had survived, a doubt took root in my mind. As sure as the sun rises and falls each day, those I am bade to kill die. And yet I failed. How? Why? With each dig site you attacked, each loyal soldier you killed, this pestering doubt grew. I kept thinking of the moment my knife pierced your throat. One twist, a simple tug of the blade, and you would have bled out. In slaughter, I am a practiced hand. So why hesitate? Why fail my destined purpose? See that scar on your cheek? You didn't get to finish. Yes, I remember. He fought well. For a savage. His name was Rost, and he was a better man than you could ever hope to be. The better man is the one who doesn't end up with his guts steaming on the ground. No, it wasn't him. I could have finished you before he attacked. But I didn't. This failing troubled my thoughts haunted every step it was only when I captured you down in that place that I finally glimpsed the Sun's design etched at length across the course of events you were meant to survive that day on the mountain meant to interfere at dig sites and kill my men conversely I was meant to capture you, here, so that you might die as a sacrificial offering to the sun. Everything as it was meant to be, predestined and preordained.
you're an idiot. A dangerous idiot, but an idiot. All this talk of destiny and fate. I'm sure Hades speaks the same language, doesn't he? You're being played for a fool. Hades is an ancient machine, not the buried shadow of Karja myth. It doesn't care about Meridian. It wants to kill everything and everyone. And you are its dutiful slave. I serve not the buried shadow, but the sun in shadow. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, dark to light. Do you really not hear how ridiculous that sounds? You've gone from serving an insane homicidal Sun King to an insane homicidal machine. You're moving down in the world, not up. I'll remember those words as I watch your corpse burn. Whatever's left of it. You fail to grasp the point. As surely as you've been conquered, so has all doubt. And with certainty of belief comes unstoppable force. Then in this cage and put your faith to the test. See if things work out like you expect. The circle has closed. Every element is in its proper place, exactly where it belongs. The errant beast, now caged, will serve her true purpose. A sacrificial animal. Oh, speaking of sacrifice, I forgot to tell you. After you crash the Eclipse Network, I sent messengers into the East to rally the forces there and mount an invasion of the sacred land. I ordered every Nora killed. I was hoping to catch you there, but alas, it all seems to have been unnecessary. Why butcher dozens of innocents for no gain? It's a waste of effort. You're right. I won't even be there to enjoy it. In any case, I couldn't recall the order even if I wished to. Thanks to your destruction of the network, communication over distances is impossible. You not only doomed yourself, but an entire tribe. Do we not see the scorching judgment of the sun in these events? Your focus. Such a powerful device, isn't it? And yet, so fragile. <sighs> oh. So you see, this time, I did not hesitate. The knife has already been twisted. Oh crap. What's gonna happen, guys? That guy definitely sounds smart. He sounds smarter than he looks, because he looks like a total idiot. I feel like our revenge is coming pretty soon also. Let's see what's about to happen. Karja Faithful, rejoice! Our years in shadow are over. A new dawn trembles on the horizon. A new day, soon to break. And when it does, the false Sun King will be dead. And Holy Meridian, ours once more. In this, I have become an instrument of prophecy. All halves of nature join to one cause. Shadow to sun, light to dark. Night today. Behold! <laughs> Hold your seats! Can you not see the proof of the sun's blessing before your eyes? How else could shadows such as these prowl in broad light of day? Were they not approved by the sun and joined to our cause? Many years ago, to consecrate this great ring, the Radiant Turan ordered many faithless, crushed beneath the hooves of the Behemoth. Mighty is the Radiant in the 
eyes of the sun, but it is mightier still, infused with the power of shadow. Let this one, who schemed and slithered, be the first to die. Let her be the first of thousands. All right, all right. Holy crap. Okay, guys. Uh, we're gonna make a stopping point here. Um, crap. Oh crap. What am I doing? Okay, so I'm gonna make a pause right here, guys. I think the episode dragged on a little bit long enough, but I'm gonna make this a two-part episode. So, um, well, it's not gonna be a two-part episode but this is part 15 so i'm gonna make another part on this so it's gonna be part 16 it's just because i don't want to make it too long for you guys but i'll see you guys in the next one and i'm super excited to take on this beast actually i'm i'm, I'm not i'm not excited but if you like what you see like and subscribe guys and we're gonna take on that freaking beast in the next episode see y'all in the next one bye